uh, hi everyone um, this uh, in this uh, exercise we will see how we can view the model using uh, node forge application on top of node red platform uh, to use node forge uh, you need to install first node red uh, make sure that you have a node and npm uh, any version after 8 and 5 should be work should be should support a uh, node red platform um, if you look at i have already installed uh, node minus v and, and npm minus v uh, these are the versions i have you may be having a little different uh, that's fine okay uh, now next uh, once you install node and npm uh, use this command to install node red I have already installed it. Uh, when you install the Node Red, Node after completing the installation of Node Red, just run this uh, Node Dash Red because it's available in the machine wide. You can run from any directory in the command prompt. When you run this Node Red, um, it will create an, a Node.js server. Uh, just launch that server and keep the terminal open. And this opens the Node Red platform. And uh, when you run the node red command, it also creates a node red directory in user profile. And this directory uh, holds the uh, packages that you would like to install on top of node red. So next thing is integrating the node forge. So we have created a node red node forge application. Uh, after installing node red, go to the user profile dot node red directory and run the node red node forge in the directory i have done already that so you can see that type package dot json it says that node red node forge so the first thing is install the node red and come to the node uh, install the node red and come to the node red directory and install the node red node forge application and after that uh, now we would like to view the model before using the forge application uh, you need to create a forge app to that app you need to go to forge.autodesk.com create in a forge app uh, go to my apps create forge app uh, once you create forge app i have already created in a forge app uh, something called project node node red uh, take a note of client and client secret i have i have taken note of the client and client secret in a batch file uh, uh, the reason for putting that in the batch file is I can execute a batch file before running the node red and our application can uh, extract those uh, those values from the process environment without manually entering those credentials in node red platform which is a, a secure way of doing that. So what I did is I created a batch file you can I can show that node red. So this is then these are the okay. So and once after create the batch file let's come here the next thing is um, uh, download the uh, go to this link and download the flow which i have created in the flow which we will be using the same flow for viewing the model and to view the model we need a test sample data and uh, this is the data you can is available in this uh, in this at least location download it and store it any of in any local folder so let's start I'll come here i also have that i uh, also have that file hook stp uh, just run this one next uh, node red okay sorry node yeah so we will be running this so we will be opening this server we will keep the terminal open launch chrome uh, 
so welcome to node red uh, you can later check click on the start it will it will allow you to walk through the different features of the node red but i'm closing this i will i want to import click on this hamburger menu import uh, when we download it as i said uh, you need to download this view and you need to copy to user profile node red lib flows uh, which i have done already here it's available in the node red directory come here come to lib flows i have copied this flow so it's a i can go to the click and i can select this and i can import it it has imported one flow 44 nodes and one sub flow and this is the one so if you note down if you look at um, these are the nodes uh, the blue one nodes are created using a forge so you can see that the four nodes are also loaded in, into the noted platform uh, that the cone indicates that these nodes are not updated we need to update so let me create this so create given name forge node viewer test uh, we will keep it like this only because we have given we have run the batch file so this indicates uh, this indicates a view environment variable so if we look at environment variable uh, if you want if you don't want to give environment variable but you want to give directly the value here what you need to do is you need to come back to the str string and you need to enter this client id uh, the client ID uh, that we have taken from the forge app but I'm going with the environment variable so let me copy this till here select this okay uh we will be selecting till here that's fine and we don't need a forge callback and we also didn't mention any forge callback environment variable so this looks good uh, let me add it has created the forge node viewer dot test done so this is updated the next thing is uh, come to hook model edit this and um, we will be creating a node red bucket viewer bucket and its object is hook.stp file and this is a hard path hard to hard coded path of the file which is a full pipe path uh, wherever whatever the model you would like to view done uh, done and now we need to update this so we already created a, a credential file right we will select that and click done and same everything here also select that done and done done so let me update this uh, i need to deploy this confirm so i can watch in the debug before running just come here and let me run let me click this so it has created a node red bucket viewer and it has extracted a file from this location and it has uploaded and we also get the oss object location and urn this is good so next thing is we have a we have a object in our bucket and we also got the object details come here let me open this again just check yeah the same thing bucket key this time we will not put anything but we will only uh, get those um, we will send this as a object so that uh, we can construct a urn from the bucket and the key done done let me open the subflow here edit uh, you can see that cones here we need to update them as well come here this one done 
done so deploy come here we have successful upload now the other thing is uh, we will translate the model so i can delete this and i will oh it's a bad request why why it is a bad request okay the views array cannot be empty so come here md translate and check this too so done deploy confirm deploy come here and run this again yeah it started now it's zero percent completed let's give it some time it's completed very good just open this and we'll check the payload success and complete okay now we can uh, remove this chat and uh, we need to update this as well come here this one and now deploy again so we have we have created a bucket we uploaded the model to the bucket and we retrieve the details of the bucket next we translated the mo model file is from the bucket now we need to view that model so what what we can do is we have already uh, if you look at this get token it it gonna take it gonna manufact it we're gonna create a access token from the credentials that we supplied uh, this is a function it says that bucket uh, it, it takes a one object which has a bucket and key and it will construct an urn this urn will be base64 encoded the, uh, that buffer is converted into base64 and that will send to this and we'll do some kind of work to, to remove the uh, certain unnecessary tokens in the urn and we'll use this template this is where we will be uh, writing the viewer code if you look at here so we are using the viewer library we are launching the viewer and we are getting the access token from the get force token uh, get force token uh, function uh, this is a http rest endpoint uh, i will i'll come back to that and if you look at uh, get forge and function this function is calling a rest endpoint api forge forge token so if you look at this uh, this is the http endpoint and this is the function message payload token message payload so and and this is the request this is a callback or a rest endpoint it's not callback it's a rest endpoint uh, rest endpoint node this gets uh, called by the viewer code and uh, the output uh, when you call this function is used and this function whatever the message payload you get you will take the only token from that payload and give back to that message that function and you give that to the results uh, now we can simply everything looks fine just simply type index cannot get index what type and so index dot html okay so this is the model that uh, we have created and we are viewing it so if you remove this 
and it will we will go back to the node rate come back here so let me rephrase this we have uploaded the model to the bucket and translated the model using this subflow and uh, in this index html if you look at this index html uh, this is the end point that doing a get request on the get request uh, we are been, uh, we uh, that uh, on the get request we are passing this function which we are constructing in urn and that urn get converted into base 64 and that base 64 uh, we will do some remove the arrow equal to marks or, uh, underscores unnecessary tokens from the function and use that urn in the viewer if you look at here this is important payload dot urn so that urn is used as a document id and we will load the document and um, okay document get element id done done okay thank you